Okay, today I'm just doing a little update videos of the progress I've made since my last and what I'll be doing within probably the next week or so. So, these are mowers, they're just, this one I haven't really done any change to, this what's going to be my racing mower. I mean, I got some different rear tires for it now, but I found some, I was in my barn a few days ago and I found this and that little pulley so that's good so I don't have to buy any pulleys for this so I just need to next time I go to the store I gotta buy some bolts and a belt and put those on like this is like a seven inch and this is a two and a half I think so that should give it quite a bit of speed I also have to order a bike handle and cable so I can run a foot throttle to this i am going to run that straight to the governor on this so instead of to this little plastic thing because i want this more responsive i'll just have to watch how high i rev it but i'd be doing more progress but i've run compl completely ran out of wire for my welder so i can't really do anything right now because i still got to weld up this and all the edges Another thing things I've done is, I was in my barn, and I just, I've had these tires in there for like two years now, but I just had these turf savers on, which there's really no point to them, because this thing's never going to mow grass again, but I noticed these things would mount on mower rims, so now these tires are on the front of here, instead of those, so should help my steering quite a bit and and I also uh, painted the bumper on this thing and as you see in my last video the my wheels were pretty far spread apart because I bent the tie rods but I have I had to cut a like two centimeters of the tie rod out on this side right here and weld it back together to pull the wheel in enough it was pretty badly bent so, I like to look at the new tires, and these tires are also a two inches, I mean, an inch bigger than these, which were the rims that were on there, but I just had these sitting around, so I used the rim out of them, but, so, I gave me more clearance, I have quite a bit of clearance under that front end now, and I plan on cutting this off sometime, and I'm not sure if you can see that, but. I'm cutting that off and welding that. Also welded the bumper on my Sears. I painted it and it was black and as you can see the transmission's on it again and when I did that I had some belt problems in the beginning it wouldn't stay on but I got that dealt with now so. But the next project you probably see me doing is just this right here is the recovery mower I'm gonna try and finish this up because I got the engine running yesterday but there's also more parts I need to order is a choke cable for this and a throttle cable for a bike handle. Okay, this is a MTD I had in a few videos back which what I'm gonna do for it is I have some buddies right out here on, that want to use my mower and stuff but I really don't trust them with my like five speeds and stuff because they're really not that easy on the shifter or anything because they don't for some reason can't get it sometimes at the higher speed so I'm gonna give this build this one for them to use I'm just gonna get rid of all that dual pulley system and make it like where it goes just because it has a forward and reverse transmission it's just gonna have like 12 miles an hour or so all the time I'm gonna lock the rear end into a posi and like double cut these rear tires like move every other tread line so it'll be better so I'll just use one of my junkier engines in and, and it which I have sitting in here I'll probably also have another belt for it because I have mounds of belts I'm not sure if you can see it or not it's pretty dark in here but there's, I have like five engines laying around in here and 
my wall of belts. But I hope you can see everything in here to know what I was talking about, but comment, like, and subscribe to see me finish these products.